and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Milan. So I had every intention of being a very good vlogger and I brought my vlogging camera and I just checked, put it on, went to go film my introduction and it had no SIM card in it. So I've got no memory card so everything's going to be filmed on my camera, well phone camera. So fingers crossed it's not going to be terrible but today I'm going to be showing you around the apartment that we stayed in, taking you through how expensive it is to actually spend a day in Milan because everyone told us it was super super expensive but we've come here and we've actually found out it's not too bad you've just got to find the right places so I have a little bit of a cough as well so you have to excuse the voice but you're in for a very exciting treat it's going to be a really fun day we're going to be finding some really good nutritious but also a little bit cheeky um food spots maybe have a few aperols later on in the day and just kind of show you how the italians do it but laura bell style wow so you guys know how i feel about frothy coffee and i am not a traitor but i think that this coffee that i'm drinking might be the best coffee i've ever had in my entire life it's black as well which i am i'm as shocked as you are but oh my goodness, Italian coffee is the best coffee I've ever tasted in my entire life. And I cannot wait to taste some more this morning. So if you didn't know, Italians invented the cappuccino. So me and Natalia are going to go get a gorgeous cappuccino and experience it Italian style out in the sun. Maybe on a table in a chair outside the shop. But this coffee right now is doing the rounds. It's beautiful. Natalia also loves it, so it's not just me, I'm not biased, and I cannot believe that I am actually enjoying black coffee. Hmm. Wow. We're going to start this tour in the bathroom because I want to be involved. These are some really horrible pyjamas, I know. They're from Primark, they're really comfy though, but I'm in the bathroom, I'm going to show you around because this bathroom is absolutely gorgeous. So obviously... Sorry about the flashing, but this is the sink and then this is the bath. So really, 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 really cute. I'm unsure why it is flashing so much. <laughs> well, now, now it's in darkness, so never mind. So obviously you come out of the bathroom and you've got the hairdryer, iron and the washing machine and then the boiler, but obviously we don't need to use that. It's peak Italian summer. And then I will show you from the other angle, actually. So as you come in the door, like behind the door is these um, like cupboard slash drawers things. Um, obviously, I haven't unpacked. As we all know, I don't like to unpack. So there's my things. And then obviously, turn around, you've got some more little storage here. Cute little welcome thing. A fake cheap plant, because obviously we're not keeping plants alive here. This is the kitchen, which is actually really good. So the coffee that we had this morning was from that coffee machine. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, they had like little coffee pods here for us. So obviously we have this little thing that came in with like some coffee pods, some sugar, some little sweeteners, etc. Um, obviously kettle. And then we've got the um, like oven as well. So if we wanted to use like the microwave, the oven, that kind of thing, um, we can, which is really, really nice. Obviously got a fridge in here just lots and lots of little bits of like storage everything like everything's really nice like they, they obviously look after the place and then obviously Natalia is here good morning Natalia she's painted the nails <laughs> and then there's the bed but there is air con um but we also know that we like to have a fan too but yeah that's the room it's actually really 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 nice it's very yellow it's called the yellow room i will put a little box up here um which obviously shows you what it's like and we will have a look on the italian street and see what the italians are doing this morning good morning milan you're so beautiful Yeah, it is absolutely stunning and we got very very lucky with this place as well so how much did it cost Natalia? Um, 
yeah, so we paid £270 between the two of us for three nights in Milan, which is amazing. Obviously, it's not like super central location, but it is next to the central station, so it's perfect for us because obviously we're trying to do Milan on a bit of a budget with me going travelling soon. It's not like I'm splashing the cash. Um, so obviously, it was really good because it works out like £170 something, £180 each, maybe. I can't, can't do the maths that quick. Um, and it's right next to the central station so it means that obviously we can literally just get the train to and from the airport it's 11 euros each way so that is like spot on like exactly what we needed um actually funny story yesterday we got off the train and stopped early so we were half an hour away from the train station where we needed to be we had backpacks i had a broken suitcase and we literally had to lug everything from the train the wrong train station to our apartment which was not ideal and when we were trying to get through the gate to get out my well our cards obviously wasn't working because we were meant to get off at a different station and this italian was like come lady come through i let you through and he must have known that i was in the wrong place he was like come lady come lady so he definitely knew and he was having us for a ride but it was an experience. We saw a lot of lovely Italian scenes. I had a very sore back from my backpack and the suitcase. But we're here now and we're focusing on the positives. But this is my outfit for the day. A little bit of a clashing pattern, but I quite like it. It's really nice and neutral. Um, I've got a little white skirt from Zara. Um, a little strappy top from Hollister. Hollister's a hidden gem, so if you don't know about it, get that. And then shoes-wise... I've got some little sandals from Primark. Absolutely so cute. Oh my God, by the way, whilst we're here, how freaking cute are my nails? So that's one hand and this is the other hand. I don't know which hand is my favorite. This has cherries on it. And then yes, if you was wondering, this is an actual chili. I love it. But we're going to get cappuccinos now, finally. Woo, 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 woo. Um, it was very light over there, I apologise. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go get cappuccinos now and have a good explore. Yeah. Hello. Hi, um, please could I have a iced cappuccino? Iced latte, yeah. Uh, iced latte, yes. With sugar or without? Uh, no sugar. With sugar? No, no sugar. No, okay. So, guess how much this, this, water, and a cappuccino and a nice latte cost me? 10 euros. 10 euros! Literally. And people say Milan is expensive. It's crazy. I'm about to try my first Italian cappuccino. It has a little love heart on it. Oh my god, it's so cute. You can just have it. And here goes nothing. Oh, it's even better than the coffee this morning. Mm. It's so smooth, like it's not got the bitterness that the UK like coffee has. Oh, usually when you go for coffee abroad, too far. I'm here for it. 10 out of 10 for me. Me and Natalia have had an amazing idea. Obviously, we are doing Milan on a budget. So we're going to try and get from here back without getting a taxi and we are going to bicycle. So these bikes are €4.50 Euro for the day. We're going to use them like throughout the day to just kind of get about because we're going on an adventure, you know. So we're going to hop on the bikes now and go for a ride. You look so Italian. I have no idea. We are back and all freshened up. Um, the cycle was so much fun. Like, it was actually so much fun. We're going to get on the bikes now. We are going to the spa, which is why I've got a bikini. Um, Milan is obviously city centre and they don't have like a beach and it is hot, hot here. So we're going to this spa that's got like um, 
an outdoor bit where you can sunbathe and stuff. I'm not sure what they're going to be like about taking pictures and videos, etc. But I'm going to try my best and show you guys what it's like. And then obviously, if you come to Milan, you can go. It's actually a little bit more on the pricey side, but there was this place we were looking at going for a pool and it was literally like 112 euros just to get in. Whereas this spa was 59 euros for five hours access and entrance and you get like a bathrobe and everything and they've got the bit where you can sunbathe outside. So it's a no brainer if you ask me and I like to sunbathe. So that is what we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to start off in a minute. We're going to go back on the bicycles because newfound love for the bicycles and then we're going to find a little spot to eat before we go in because we've got five hours of access but we're going to have something to nibble before we go in because with it being a spa the food might be a bit on the pricey side and we are trying to do Milan on a budget so we're going to get a sandwich from like a little side shop or something like a nice fresh ham and cheese that sounds like something that I would like so we're going to do that and then obviously I will catch up with you then We managed to cycle the whole way here. It took us 45 minutes. I am sweaty. I am a sweaty mess. My back is dripping. But before we're going into the spa, which we are late for, because it took us longer than we thought they would do cycles, I hope that they let us in. But we are going to try some traditional Italian food. Um, it is called a trap. Trapezini. So we're going to try trapezini and then I will let you guys know what it tastes like. In fact, I'm going to record myself tasting it for the first time and I will show you. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Salt. Italia. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. Right. I'm going to go in. I don't even know where to start. I'm going to start at the edge. Mmm. Oh my god, unbelievable. That is so, so, so nice. Really good. Out of 10. Um, oh, it's just, it's everything. It's the softness of the bread. The chicken is really like moist. It's, kind of it's good. So. Like 10 out of 10. It tastes a bit like chicken and stuff in. Unreal. Mm. Unbelievable. Where do we start? Where do we go? <laughs> exactly. That's what I was like. Mmm, it's good, isn't it? It's so good. <laughs> Come to Italy and try a trapezini. So these are the locker rooms. You actually get given a locker for free and you make your own code so you can remember it. And then inside here um, comes the slippers and um, everything else that's just there. We're in the sea salt room now and I cannot actually tell you how nice and relaxing this place is. Listen to the music. It is so zen and it literally came to £50 after it was converted from Euros. So this is like unbelievable. Like you, you would be paying like £250 if you were to do this in the UK. Like it's unreal, so nice, everyone's so friendly. It's very, very, very bougie on a budget. The bar we went to was called the QC Tommy Milano. It's located in the heart of Milan and it's protected by ancient Spanish walls. 
Everything is so well thought out and you really wouldn't think that you were in the city centre at all. It's so tranquil and so peaceful. Obviously, it used to be a old tram stop, so everything's designed around the theme that it was an old tram station and it's honestly so, so, so relaxing. You get so many different creams, moisturisers, experiences and you also get Aperitivo included, all for 59 euros. We finished at the spa now. My hair is very frizzy. <laughs> um, we're gonna cycle home now. Um, we're gonna risk it because we've had two for seconds, but I'm sure it will be fine. And we're gonna cycle back, we're gonna get ready, and we're gonna go play out. Yeah. We're gonna go play out and drink it for a second. We're back from the spa, and oh my God, it was the best thing. Like, it was so, so, so lovely. And I honestly, I can't even, I cannot explain. It was absolutely amazing. There was like 30 like rooms with all different experiences. You could go outside or sunbathe. There were so many different saunas with different smells, different steam rooms, ice baths, hot baths, jacuzzis. It, there was like a rainfall thing. Oh my God, it was just absolutely unbelievable. And to top it all off, we got some Italian bread, little cheeses, olives, that kind of thing, and Prosecco included in it for a total of 50 pounds. Five hours bar access, aperita, aperta, apertiva, apertiva on the house. It was unbelievable. One of the best experiences I've had in any other country. It was so clean. If you've been to the Budapest Thermal Baths, this, all over it. Unbelievable. So much better. Doesn't even smell like chlorine. If you know what I mean about the Budapest Thermal Baths, you know what I mean. But we're ready to go out now. We are going to go somewhere local. We were actually going to go to this place that had like canals and stuff, but we got quite late. So we're going to go local. We're going to explore, have some apples, eat some good food and just be Italians for the night. So that's what we're going to do. In terms of my outfit, I know what you're thinking. She looks like she's wearing something super cute. I am. So this outfit here, this cute little piece, I actually got it from Sheen. I know what you're thinking, Laura, I hate you. I hate me too, but... Gal got to do what gal's got to do. And I am going to Bali, so you've got to remember, I am buying a lot of outfits. Yes, it's fast fashion, but I shall be wearing it forever. If I die, bury me in it, and then you can't shout on me. But anyway, Sheen, super cute, really nice little two-piece, super lightweight. Kind of looks like I'm wearing a little bit of a nappy, but we're going to roll with it. And it was about six to seven pounds. So that's me, that's where I'm at. We're going to go out, catch you in a bit. hi we are back thank you so much for watching honestly i know i said it earlier but this has been one of the best trips like in the world i've had the best day ever it's been so fun i've tried so many yummy foods i absolutely loved it obviously if you wanted to do milan a bit cheaper you absolutely can but today this is our like main day here and we really wanted to be bougie on a budget as i said earlier so all in all what we had obviously lunch um, well brunch in the cafe um at like 11 ish that was five pounds each and then we had um we cycled on the bikes they were four euro fifty um obviously cycled to the spa where we got before we went in we had the chicken sandwich so that was five euro each as well and then we went into the spa which was 59 euros which is something like 50 pounds it worked out at um obviously got the five hours included in the spa and then we got the um the aperitivo um two glasses of prosecco and like bread and stuff as well and then obviously came back on the same bicycles it's four euro 50 for a day like i said earlier and then went out for dinner and dinner was 25 euros so all in all realistically we've spent around 75 to 80 pounds today um i will obviously translate it all properly but like just off the top of my head i think that's what around the ball mark that we spent which for a day in milan you can't go wrong and we definitely have done we've ticked the box of bougie on a budget so really 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 happy 
really 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 excited for another day in milan tomorrow um obviously i'm not going to be vlogging that day because i'm just going to enjoy it and make some mems um but i will catch you guys in the next video which will be an update on my cut up until obviously we're going to bali um it is going to be up soon obviously i'm not cutting whilst i'm in milan because i'm just enjoying life you know but obviously as soon as i'm back back on the grind gonna get another video filmed and i will update you on where i'm currently at how far away i feel like i am and obviously i'll go from there but for now this is it over and out don't forget to like subscribe turn post for post notification no la, 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 la. such a hard sentence to say turn post notifications on and i will see you in the next video ciao bella <laughs>